Hello folks and warm welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I'd show a little bit of footage from this which I got at Christmas, a little um, mini drone. It's the uh, DJI Neo. Uh, I've been after a drone for quite a long time, uh, but I didn't want one that you flew in the traditional sense with a hand controller and stuff. Um, I just wanted a simple one. And a year or so ago, the Hover Air came out, but it was around the 350 to 400 pound mark, which was a um, little bit expensive for, for what I was after. Uh, so when the DJI Neo came out, at 160 odd pound that was uh, much more kind of my cup of tea if you like and this little video here isn't really going to be a review of the um, DJI Neo it's just going to be showing you a little bit of um, of what you can do with it with zero experience of, um, of flying a drive so the DJI Neo really is probably best described as a flying camera it's um, very small um, rather than a, a traditional type drone and um, it takes off and lands from the palm of your hand and the drone itself has got something like six pre-programmed manoeuvres that it can do that I'll show you um, coming up. I wandered down to the local park to have a little go and then after that i took it out on my bike to see how it would, would perform there the drone's controlled entirely via your phone and um on the app you can download the videos that it takes and stuff um and you can do some tweaking to the the, the, the pre-programmed maneuvers but when you're out and about you don't actually need to connect it to your phone you simply select the manoeuvre that you want it to do off of um, a single button on the front. And then you, you set it off to do what, what it needs to do. And it will basically, if you're doing a drony, for example, which is the standard manoeuvre where the drone flies away from you, sits there and then comes back again. It will take video when it's doing that and land back on your your hand again. There's no memory card within the uh, Neo itself. So you, you plug it into your, your phone. Well, you don't plug it in, actually. You just connect it to your, your phone. Um, it sets up uh, its own connection and download the footage that way. I had to wait a while before using it because um, we've had just non-stop storms here um, over the last few weeks <clears throat> and it's a bit little bit limited in that it can't fly in in strongish winds you just want light winds at best so um, yeah I had to, had to kind of hang around a little bit to um, to, to give it a go um, I'm typically technically averse so um, I was a little bit nervous, but to be fair, I was astonished at how easy this thing was to use. In reality, you can get like a little control console for it, um, where you can fly it more like a, a, a traditional drone. Um, I haven't bothered with that. I've just um, used the, the, the basic functions that it has. It is theoretically possible to fly it without the console actually through your phone um, and again use it more like a traditional drone but again that's not something that I'm kind of overly bothered with. So uh, yeah what, what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of footage up of the, the, the different functions that the drone does. Exploring 
You're deeper than knowing just what is essential for life that is thriving. Go deep, mute out the chatter. I took it out on my bike. Its size is kind of hand sized, as you can see, and it uh, it does go in the the back pocket of a cycling jersey. Although I'm uh, more inclined to put it in a little bar bag. I was a little bit nervous taking it out on the bike because um, there is obviously a limit to how fast it can fly. Uh, which thankfully is probably <laughs> greater than the limit that I cycle at um, typically. I think it's like 13 or 14 miles an hour, something like that. Um, but I was cycling along at about eight mile an hour doing the little tests just to see how it, how it would perform. So um, I shall stick that little bit of footage up now. My little girl Your eyes so blue Under those brown curls Soon you're on your way Promise me that you know The world is yours Strike them so overall I was pretty stunned by uh, how easy this thing was to use. The footage that I took, um, I made 1080p uh, just to keep the file sizes down. The default is um, 4K, but that creates quite big files. Um, but I thought it came out all right, to be honest. My test of the the different modes I was very pleased with. There's the sixth mode is a, a custom mode where it can do like one of three things. Um, the common one that people seem to use is called direction track, which is where it will follow you to the side or um, you can stick it in front of you and it will fly backwards. And I was trying to make it fly backwards um, but it kept wanting to go to the side all the time. Um, I don't know whether you picked that up on the, um, the the footage on my bike. When I tried that mode in the park, initially it wouldn't do it because you have to activate it through the app. So um, that's why there was none of that in, uh, in the park. Um, I've got a feeling that the fact that it swings around to the side when I'm riding my bike, something to do with... Um, the way I'm making it take off. But um, that's something that I shall have to have a little experiment with. But overall, for what I want this thing to do, I'm well chuffed with it. Um, I want to take it on a, a mountain walk in the next few weeks, so long as it's not too windy, just to um, get bits of B-roll, basically. So yeah, 160 quid, I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, the 
hover air is still around and it, it's been upgraded there's a hover air pro now um the main advantage i can see because it's a fair bit more expensive is it folds up so instead of being a solid thing like this the the, the wings kind of fold down which makes it uh, even more compact um but as it happens i can get this in my jersey pocket so i'm quite happy so there we go um if anybody's interested i hope you found this useful and uh, i look forward to seeing you next time take care cheerio